Welcome to Flash Basics, tutorial number one, positioning objects with ActionScript. I have the CS5 program opened. Your workspace may not look like this. This is what's called the classic view. If you want to do it, select Windows and come down here. You may have to extend the panel, click on workspace, go over and click classic, and then up here make sure if classic isn't selected, click on classic and it will put what's called the properties panel over here. It'll put your timeline up here, it says timeline, and your stage is down here. Depending on how you have your, your screen display set up, you may or may not be able to see all these items in this toolbar you may have this so if you click here and pull it then they'll pop up and you have all those tools we're going to start off by selecting a new document action script 3 the width I want to be 700 the height 550 and OK We're going to start off by bringing an item, some items in from my computer documents under File, Import, Import to the Library, something called the Library. Click on that. It's now preparing itself to import those. And you use your browsers and find out whichever images you want in. I'm going to put these four in click on the first one, hold my shift down, click on the other one and open and that has all those four files now are in my library down here right there you see those books library there's those four images those images were 3000 by 2000 pixels approximately and I want to to put them on my s stage here that I have that I have so before I imported them I took them to an editor and I knocked them down to 191 by 144 I have the timeline selected layer 1 select frame 1 go to the library right here if you haven't got the library here go to the windows and click on library you'll find it there it is there. Open the library panel and I'm going to pick this top one and just drag it onto my stage. Go up here, lock this layer. Right under that lock, put a lock there. Come down here, insert a layer, select frame one of that new layer, open the library, bring the second image in. Doesn't matter where we put them right now. Open a new layer, click here, lock layer two, select frame one of that layer 3, bring the third image in and make a new layer number 4 and bring the oops, bring the fourth in. Close my library. Right here, this is the size of the stage we're working with. Make it 25% and unlock all the layers see this lock here that locks them all now they're all unlocked and one at a time click them and get them off the screen off the stage this is the stage so just one at a time take them off the stage now we're going to give these images a name it's called an instance name when we do that that allows us to write action code and then we can manipulate them so start with layer one and when I select layer one, unlock it and select frame one. And as soon as I do, you see the highlights come around this picture. If they don't, go up here, grab this thing called the selection tool and select it. While it's selected, go up to modify, convert it to symbol. Make sure movie clip is what's been selected here, movie clip. And up in here, we're going to give it a name. I-M-A-G-E, capital I, image one underscore MC I label all my movie clips underscore MC this is something called the registration point 
and this is a point in which when we make reference to its x and y axes we're going to talk about with relation to the center of this image press ok there is what we're talking about that, that that registration point right there come over here click the properties panel it's telling us we have an image one underscore MC and we got to put that name or a name up in here to write script so I am a G E one underscore MC lock that lock layer one unlock layer two and the second image modify convert to a symbol movie clip select it I am a G E two underscore MC registrations the same okay if you see instance of down here and that's the image then we know we have it otherwise we got to select it I am a G E two underscore MC and I'm going to do the same thing for a three and a four and then I'll return I've done all my four images and I'm going to check here go back to that library open it up and I can see those four movie clips so now I can write script on them and put them wherever I want now you might say well why don't I just drag them where I want that would work but if I want them to be in the exact spot I can put it in the code and then I can anytime I want to change them uh, this could be a really large website for example if I want to change them all I have to do is take the images delete them and bring new images in give them those instance names and their code is already written and it'll put them exactly where they're supposed to be so now let's write the code I'm going to lock all my layers select the top layer insert a layer call it action script as this is the code action script I have my actions frame here if you don't have that go to Windows click click on the actions layer and it will come up for you and you can then put put it up here or just call it up when you need it so select my actions panel there it is and we're going to write our first code I am a G E image one underscore MC we're talking about that first image period is part of the syntax and we're going to talk about the x-axis that's where it is this way on the stage I've divided in my mind the stage up into four parts I know its dimensions and I want my images to be one in this corner one in this section one in this section and one in this section in those four segments so equals I want this to be 175 and then you end the line of the syntax with a semicolon. Copy that. Go on the next line, paste it. I now want to do the y axis, and the y axis needs to be 137.5. 137.5. Make sure you got this semicolon here at the end. Copy that whole thing right click copy it click go down the next line paste and we're going to write it for image 2 image 2 image 2 we need it to be 525 on the X and the Y axis is going to stay the same click the end here we can paste again because we already copied did a copy make this image 3 image 3 the X of image 3 is 175 so that puts it in line with this one and we need to go down to that corner which is 412 412 that's down in this corner down here and go to the end of there paste again because we still have that copy make this image 4 image 4 and it needs the 525 so I'm going to copy 525 and put it here for my X puts it way down there and it needs that for 12.5 I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that and if it works out right I'll have an image here an image here an image here an image there and like I say anytime you wanted to change the image 
we just delete the image, bring a new one in, give it that instance name. Let's test the movie. To test the movie, we go up to control, test, then down to test, test movie, down to test. If I had some codes, errors, it would come up here in the panel saying there was an error. I have no errors and my pictures are where I want them. So let's just put an error in here for a minute. Let's uh, call this image 44. Say we made a mistake and I'll show you how that works. I go up to control. I would say test the movie test. And this panel comes up. It says there's a problem with your scene one, that's what we're on, our action script layer frame 1, line 8, undefined image, because there is no image, image 4.4. Four. So you would go to that line 8, go back to my actions code, line 8, there it is, and there's my error. Now you naturally want to save this. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.